have in the house. And then once you started running the water, it would relieve enough pressure on it to allow the gas bubble to work its way up and force the water out of our well. Um, that, that's what we were told initially. Um, the gas company seems to have another theory. They think that our well is broken and that it's just doing this on its own. Our well was drilled and put in, I believe, in 2008 or 2009. 2009. You said our water was good before. Now I can't use it. So we, yeah. They come out frequently and test the gas coming out of our well. And before it was vented, the Friday before the gas company came out and vented it, the tests were showing 82% methane coming out of the, the well. So uh, that, that's free gas. They, they are required to deliver it until the investigation is over, I believe. Coming up in the creek now. At 82%. Well, well, they told us when they did the air quality test, they told us not to have any flames near our water. We didn't try lighting it because we thought it was very dangerous. Uh, we couldn't use our kitchen stove because it was too close. They told us that they they're really excited about leasing their property for fracking. They were like, oh, so they're going to make money. We're going to do this. So I like stood over them. I didn't have any of my anti fracking buttons on. I was like reading. You're just not filtered. You know, and you're so then you still need to have another space. Um, and do you know where the nearest like, drill well is? Yeah, 4,000 feet right up behind us. Oh, it's pretty close. Yeah. What was yeah, well, that's. What was happening was they considered 2,500 feet is where we're supposed to have anybody within 2,500 feet of the well pad is supposed to have their water. Supposed to have what? That's that's where they figured that the impact zone. And that used to be only 1,000 feet. We're just up in the We're four, the closest one to us is 4,000 feet. So we would leave the water running in the that uh, Heavenly Angels uh, restaurant, or breakfast sandwiches, pizzas, sub wings, they're a transient non-community public drinking water system by the Safe Drinking Water Act. Their arsenic level is five times the maximum contamination level that's allowed by the EPA. And they're still operating, they're still preparing food with that water, yet it's above the maximum contamination level. Have there been any health problems reported? Uh, health problems won't get reported in Susquehanna County. Susquehanna County doesn't maintain its own health department because it's a sixth class county. It's governed under the second class county rules. So we would have to go to the state health department. But if the state health department is enforcing the rules in a township, they have to charge that township because they don't have a health department or the county doesn't have a health department, they have to charge them to enforce the rules for the time they spend. So, so where is that water actually coming from that they use in that restaurant, Heavenly, whatever? Water well. The private owned water well. And uh, where is the, that? Now they claim that they're not using the water, from what I hear. I don't know if somebody's claiming it. They claim they're using bottled water. So do they have to truck in water? For yes, they have to truck in water. Pines. How far is the pond? Do you live here? This, this well, there's I a live right in Great Bend here. Borough, so where I'm, uh, yeah, I'm on the Borough Council. There's methane in the gas we're breathing here, in the air? There could be. But here's another thing. All the deer that you Oh that my god. If, uh, the Ticks. Water is bad. And they're drinking it. And then you're eating the deer meat. How do these animals make out these fowl, these chickens and stuff? You, you still have to watch out. You have to watch out for the air quality, which they don't have the compression stations running yet. Oh my god, what's this creature? I am not sure what type of chicken that is. <laughs> Hello. And the water they're drinking? From the yeah, buffalo. Uh -huh. Which is not food grade. It doesn't meet EPA regulations for drinking water. Uh -huh. It can only be used for non potable water. I have never seen the what?
Look at the, look at the plumage on that one. This used to be their swimming hole. Uh -huh. our, our host, Ms. Roggen, said that this is where they used to come to swim. And they started seeing these methane, these are methane bubbles coming up. This used to be a clean, pristine brook. Like, let's figure things out for a year or two and rebuild your housing. But we'll or, I mean, water. Yeah. Right. And we'll do the main season.